going on? Uh, today is a very interesting day. Earlier in the day, we shot a V10 first gen Audi R8 with a gated six speed manual. Epic car. And right now, we are in a 2007 Toyota RAV4, all right? This one has been modified uh, to be an ultimate street weapon, okay? A track and track. Wow, okay, that's actually very fast. <laughs> um, the ultimate track uh, street weapon uh, that it can be. Uh, Giovanni has done a great job with this car. Uh, it's got RPF ones. It's got massive amounts of weight reduction. Weight reduction everywhere. Weight reduction was even possible, except for of course the back seats. You wouldn't want to take out the back seats because they're not light enough to really make a difference. Um, <laughs> this car is hilarious. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight face. This is the funniest car we've ever had on the channel, and I don't even necessarily mean that in a bad way because, in my opinion. Any vehicle that's like in the car community or in the car world um, that has personality and has like passion behind it is something to, that's worth taking note of. Um, and this RAV4 is definitely, <laughs> definitely fits into that category. <laughs> Full throttle. Honestly, flat out, you guys might think I'm joking. Not that slow not that slow like it's actually pretty quick throttle response is really good the transmission it's cut it doesn't have sport mode it's kind of hunting for gears non-stop not the greatest in that respect it takes a little bit to kick down but maybe if i put it in low whoa and 60 miles an hour not half bad all right so now that we're in low, I mean, the throttle's super sensitive. I believe this would be drive-by-wire. Uh, you can really feel the lightness of the RPF ones that are really making this um, a, a standout kind of sports car. Wow, lots of tire squeal from the front. Lots of tire squeal. There's way too much tire squeal. I don't know what tires Giovanni has on this, um, but I'm barely pushing it, and... There, we're like at the limit of grip. <laughs> Good on the brakes and back on the gas. This is it's honestly a lot of fun to drive. 6,000 RPM, it's got a 6,500 RPM red line. No, I'm not an idiot. I didn't just put this here for the sake of putting it here. If you put the sun visor where it is supposed to be as I'm like trying not to crash off this gorgeous cliff right here. Uh, I just flops down. So Giovanni just puts it here. Uh, hello, roads and travel. I am Giovanni and this is my 2007 Toyota RAV4. I call her Michiko Hara and together we are Cold Sign Galatea. Uh, how I got the name Michiko, uh, I, as a kid, I love, you know, military aircraft, fascinated with the Air Force. And World War II, you know, both the Axis and the Allies, they would have women painting on the side of the aircrafts. And being that Michiko was manufactured and assembled in Japan, I decided to go with the Japanese uh, first name and last name. Uh, as far as aircrafts are concerned, I was looking at military aircrafts and see what Michiko was uh, comparable to. Uh, she, in my opinion, is an F-4 Phantom. Uh, there's a lot of nicknames for the F-4s, uh, you know, the Flying Brick, the uh, Double Ugly. My personal favorite is the Triumph of Thrust over Aerodynamics. So given the amount of mods that I have in her, it's pretty amazing. At first, uh, this is actually my parents' car. Uh, they gave me a RAV4 as a hand-me-down. And one of my friends, Allison, bought a used uh, G35, and she was modding it to the point where I felt a little jealous. So that's when I got into modding. And I decided to like, you know what? I'm just gonna do my best at modding uh, Michigo. You know, 2010 all the way up to 2016. Six years in making and here we are now. It's pretty much the best RAV4 that I can build with money I have, with the resources, time that I have. It's gotten to a point where I go to like, you know, these uh, tuners, these auto shops, and they tell me that, hey, look, I mean, like, you know, to take a family oriented vehicle and to turn it to somewhat of a racing machine, to take it up to the next level with all the mods that you have, you're going to have to go with, you know, the HKS turbo kit, 
uh, either the two uh, the two GR fee uh, supercharger that Toyota made, or if not, nitrous. I'm not really a car guy. People assume that you know you build a car like this and you think that you know you must be a mechanic. Uh, you know, just looking at you know what's the purpose of a muffler, like you know what makes an engine run. And from that, you know, I decided to go with it. You know, first it was the Cherry Bond glass pack mufflers. Then it was just the NK RPF one wheels. After that, I mean, at the time it was a, a stock air box. So I got the Advanced Flow Engineering Pro 5R air filter, uh, Brisk Racing LGS spark plugs. And after that, it was just like mod after mod after mod. Uh, the last mod that I put on here was the uh, Stage 3 uh, Thunderbolt Performance Chip by the tuners from tripyourcar.com. I really didn't have enough money. So pretty much the cheapest thing that I can do was a lot of weight reduction. Uh, people, they look at, you know, the JDM culture, drift culture, and, you know, looking at the history of it, you, you know, you kind of go back and you trace where it all came from. It came from NASCAR, it came from Formula One, but really at the end of the day, it came from the gangsters and like law enforcement from the Prohibition era. And you look how they were doing a lot of weight reduction. So, you know, they took off like seats, to put more ammunition, if not more booze. And I was like, you know what? Uh, that's where I go that's the direction I want to go with weight reduction. Uh, you know, it was just like taking off like handlebars, you know, the engine cover, a uh, little like, you know, plastic mounts, uh, fasteners. There's a lot of excessive tape on the RAV4, so I took that off. Uh, as you can see, like, you know, there's no stereo. I mean, you know, Michiko, she's really loud. So it got to the point where like, what's the point of listening to music where like, you know, all, you, all I'm hearing is just her loud rumble, her loud roar. You know what's really sad, you guys? I really hope you enjoy this video first off because I'm enjoying every single moment of today. <laughs> this this weight reduction is amazing. It's so good. Um, the most unique build I think we've ever had on Roads Untraveled. This thing is honestly a riot to just bag on. Uh, already getting some brake fade. Not the end of the world because this is a street vehicle. Giovanni, uh, ever since he put the RPF ones on the car, obviously it's not the greatest for off-roading anymore, um, which kind of defeats the purpose of it being an SUV, but it's a street SUV, you know, and uh, it's kind of a sleeper. You can take on a lot of vehicles. Obviously the carbon fiber hood uh, saves a lot of weight up there. Obviously, if you were really going for the ultimate street build, you could, uh, in fact, maybe, I don't know, put a supercharger or turbo on it, but that would just make this more frightening than it really needs to be. Pretty quick. It sounds really mean. It actually, Giovanni was saying like, sh she's gonna roar, she's gonna growl and stuff. She actually does. That's the funny part. Um, <laughs> that's that's what I'm blown away. Uh, the power, he's actually not lying. Like this is me being serious right now. The power is actually pretty good. We're going uphill right now, 4,000. I mean, the thing's got like 300 horsepower. Has not been dynoed, but with a stock like 270 horsepower, and then plus the modifications, the intake and everything, not to mention the goddamn weight reduction, okay? I mean, every single panel, look at that. Uh, if we want to adjust the mirrors, you gotta go looking for it. This is your mirror adjuster here, so you can adjust your mirrors through there. Um, what else do we have? The seats actually hold you in quite well, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm pretty sure that shock is blown. So the only thing missing from this weight reduction, in all honesty, uh, is taking out the back seats. I mean, that seems like the obvious first step for weight reduction, but apparently not, which is totally cool. Uh, totally up to the owner for that, but. Uh, as of right now, it's just a daily driver. I haven't taken it out to the track, you know, but I mean, just even daily driving it, just, you know, it's amazing, like, you know, compared to like, you know, normal vehicles that you see out on the road or on the freeway. I mean, I'm pretty much, you know, kicking butt to the point where like, you know, it feels like, you know, Ludacris and Alex Jones, move bitch, get out the way. And honestly, I mean, 
As I said, you know, I've been fascinated with the Air Force, you know, military aircraft. It's just that, like, you know, once I got, you know, Michiko Hara, you know, like a Japanese woman representing uh, the RAV-4, it was just trying to figure out uh, what aircraft to compare her to. At first, I was looking at the A6 and the A10. It's just that, you know, you know, once she, Michiko became really fast, it was like, oh, she has air-to-air -air potentiality. So you kind of look back and see if there's anything that's, you know, an aircraft that's really like heavy, but at the same time, it's capable of air superiority and as well as ground combat. Toyota says that the RAV4 weighs 3,675 pounds, but given the fact that like the amount of mods that I have, she's really quick. And it is true to the F4 Phantom. I mean, the Triumph of Thus over Aerodynamics. Like weight reduction, I mean, I went underneath the car, like, you know, for instance, like, you know, the uh, fuel tank has three, three uh, metal uh, bars underneath it. I took out like, you know, things like, you know, like those plastic, you know, slits that go on there, uh, like the engine. There's a couple of mounts in there that I removed by myself. I mean, just to, you know, save some weight. I mean, just little things like this. I mean, like, you know, it, it doesn't require like, you know, uh, mechanical skills. I mean, I feel satisfied and fulfilled. And it goes back to like all I was saying, like, you know, just because you're in a Mitsubishi Lancer or like, you know, uh, Toyota FRS, I mean, like, so what? I mean, like, you know, if you're not really making any noise, I don't see like the slightest whisper of an intake. I mean, you know, and you're really going slow, I'm going to pass you. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, like, you know, get out the way. Uh, we're going to try to go off roading here, actually. It's going to be dope. All right. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is the this is the best day of my entire life. This is the best vehicle we've ever filmed on this travel. Giovanni, thank you so much for bringing your Rav4 out. What a character! What a character of a car, and what a story behind the car. I've never seen a vehicle that's been inspired by a fighter jet, other than a Koenigsegg. Um, but yes. Thank you so much, Giovanni, for coming out and bringing your RAV4. Great, great car, great character. Uh, way more power than I thought. Honestly, like throttle response right now. Woo! On this tight canyon road, brake fade, definitely uh, a little bit of an issue, but obviously this is a street car. You do get some really good intake noise as well. Honestly, when you kind of like give it a little bit of throttle and blip the throttle, more so with the windows down, you hear the intake open up signature sound on a good na motor uh and it's very apparent this 2gr is all jokes aside this 2gr is a really good engine not gonna lie reliable bulletproof and uh it's good enough for russ's mr2 beyond good enough uh, for a sports car and it's very good in this application as well the full build list if you're if you're interested in the full build list of this car it is down in the description uh, Giovanni has been kind enough to put that in there for you um, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't already uh, check out our merch at roadsandtraveled.com uh, tell your friends hit us up on Instagram uh, at roadsandtraveled and we have a podcast every Wednesday that goes up on iTunes thank you so much please please I know you guys will but sound off in the comments below We'll see you next time.